Hi, welcome to uh, C Sharp ADO.net and XML7 uh, or CAC7 as I'm abbreviating it. Essentially, what I've done for this lesson is I've incorporated the uh, split container from CAC6 into the program we left off in CAC5. What is data relation? From the point of view of the form, the only change I've made is I've given the tree control a meaningful name, uh, TRV Overview. I've also added two lines of code to the uh, form main load event, which happens when the program first starts. As you recall in what is data relations in CAX 5, uh, there was a nested for loop for each loop and for the line that put the uh, genre name from the genre table on just a label a big label where we showed the uh, relation between the genre and the movie tables uh, I've substituted the line uh, node parent equals TRV overview dot nodes dot add and the uh, genre row genre name uh, to string. This is in the outer loop that's going through each of the genre rows. And one thing that you will notice is there's a new variable. It's the tree node node parent. And the reason we need this is initially we're going to create node parent from the first genre node and then within the inner loop where we're going through the movies that are related to the genre row we're going to use the node parent variable instead of the uh, TRV overview as the uh, the node that gets added to so within the inner loop we're saying node parent dot nodes dot add instead of TR view overview nodes dot add which basically is creating a tree structure in the first place case we're adding to the root of the tree and the second case we're adding to a node within the tree ie parent node which changes each time you change the uh, the genre red in underneath the uh, tree uh, structure node adds. I have the original uh, writing to a label commented out to show what we've substituted it for. From a graphical point of view this is essentially what we're doing. We have our TRV overview uh, tree view that's created in the form and then we're adding a node to it. The first node in the outer loop is science fiction, the second node in the outer loop is horror, and the third node in the outer loop is fantasy. Then each time we uh, change the nodes in the outer loop, we have an inner loop which adds the movie to the, uh, the node, not directly to the tree view, but to the node. And the first case is science fiction, I think it's 2001, then I believe it's brainstorm, then the black hole. And then we fall out of the inner loop because we've run out of nodes associated with science fiction. And we go back to the outer loop and read in the next genre, <coughs> which is horror. And then we read in each of the child nodes of horror, which are, uh, I believe, aliens and the boys from Brazil and at that point we've read in all the child of horror nodes so we fall out of the inner loop back out to the outer loop and do the final genre which is fantasy and then we read in the two fantasy children which are uh, I believe Lord of the Rings and uh, Harry Potter So if we actually compile and run this code, 
we see the following form and you see the tree view has the uh, three genres that are read in in the outer loop science fiction horror and fantasy and then if we expand out the tree we see the movies associated with science fiction 2001 brainstorm and the black hole the two movies associated with horror read in from the inner loop when it falls through to the horror outer loop uh, alien and boys from brazil and the two under fantasy lord of the rings and harry potter well we'll have to enhance the two lines we added to the form load uh, in order to start handling an interaction between the tree view and the list view which is in the upper right pane which will happen in the next lesson uh, CAC 7 or CAC 8 rather which is the uh, C-sharp list view I'll see you then and remember to focus and learn a lot